Hey guys, don't forget. Please don't you dare forget. We have Bible study tonight. Most likely Reverend McConnell will continue. I don't know if you were there last week. My goodness, fantastic. I'm still talking about it. Thank God for you, Reverend McCano. And for, please keep in mind, we're in person and online using the Zoom platform. If you can't make it in person, we'd love to have you in person. But if you just can't because of family commitment or work commitment, we're online. You could take some time and just be with us. I'm back at 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. It says, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. Oh my goodness, here he puts it. The concept of harmony does not speak to uniformity. It speaks to different parts working together to produce the same thing. It's as if the choir gets together and there is alto, soprano, bass, there is tenor, and all of them are using their voices to produce one song. It's as if the band gets together. It's like if the motto gets together and the varying parts must come together for them to work well. If you just move one part, it doesn't work as well. It just doesn't. So could you imagine God now is calling us? Yes, he's calling us. Yes, he's calling us to be in harmony, not uniformity. I don't look like you. I don't have the same gifts you have. I don't have the same capacity or abilities you have. I bring something unique and different to the table. My, 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 the way I think, the way I bring, the way I, I, I come to issues, situations, I, I become different to you. So that's why he's not asking us to be uniform. He's asking us to live in harmony. We bring what we have. You bring what you have. Together, we can do more we can do it better than if I were alone or if you were alone. Yeah, I know you say to me, but pastor, it, it hurts sometimes when you work with people. And that is the challenge because they belong to your father. And if things go kind of haywire, you can talk to their father who is also your father. Oh, you're getting it now. You're getting it. We can't afford to leave others out because we don't like the way they act or do things. We incorporate them in the purposes of God. I'm not saying, please note, I'm not saying we accept slipshod work or we accept unrighteousness or unholiness. But I'm saying we encourage each other so that the kingdom of God will grow. Remember, it's not how much we produce. The Bible says that will make, that will convince others that we're Christians. It is by love for each other. And love demands that we forgive. Love demands that we accept. Love demands that we uh, push the boundaries of our own insecurities, our own insufficiencies, so that God might be glorified. I hope you're with me. I really hope you're with me. Because God wants us to walk in harmony for his glory, for his honor.